Around 4 o'clock this morning, this home at 690 Queen Street burst into flames. The pattern fits other arson fires in the neighborhood recently. Early morning, a vacant house near total destruction. This was the sixth fire in eight days here in the West End neighborhood and the fourth in just the last 48 hours. But this morning's fire added a new dangerous element. For the first time, the lives of neighbors living on either side of the torched house were placed in jeopardy. Johnny Lee Thornton was one of three people living in apartments here. His first floor room was heavily damaged by the fire. Thornton was awakened by the sound of shattering glass and footsteps running from the burning house. Uh -huh. So I had my curtain back like this over here, just like this. And so this why the window was. So that's why we got glass break. And I said, the breeze said, boom, I said, something on fire here. So I jumped up out, there's a couple of radar looking at the ball game. And uh, I didn't see nobody, but I heard the wheeze, you know, they're going outside of there, you know, the leaves are out. The noise Thornton heard suggests that fire bombs were tossed into the house. Arson investigators confirmed today that they are indeed working on that theory. The flames spread so quickly, they said some type of flammable material must have been used. Next door on the other side, Emmett Pitts was cleaning up, trying to make his home livable again. There was considerable damage when flames reached the side and roof of his house, but he and his fiancée managed to escape. Heard, after she woke me up, I heard a, a splice. That was uh, when someone threw something in the window over there. And uh, she said, the house is on fire, and I got up and ran downstairs. When I went downstairs, uh, I hooked up a water hose. I told a lady across the street to call the fire department. Pitts tried to douse the flames with water from his garden hose, but the fire department arrived very quickly. Still, according to Pitts, equipment problems kept firemen from containing the fire quickly enough to prevent heavy damage to his home. And they hooked it up, and the water come on, and then it cut off. You understand? And then it cut back on and cut off. They just don't have anything to work with. They got poor equipment and everything. They, the fire department, they, they did their job. They really did their job with what they had to work with. Fire Chief R.B. Sprayberry told me today the fire department has been experiencing no unusual problems with the equipment and said the firemen who fought this latest arson fire did a fantastic job. Still, those complaints about equipment maintenance have been heard from a number of firefighters as well. Arson investigators say they don't have much to go on at this time, but they believe all six fires have been started by the same person or persons. Still, they're predicting a quick arrest. From Southwest Atlanta, John McKnight, Action News.